guys? It's the Meat Area here, back with another Scripture Sunday, and I've goofed, I've messed up, and I'm sorry. I haven't made a video in two weeks, and I'm really trying to work on that. Uh, I'm trying to, I just really was busy last week, really bad excuse, but that's just what happened. And I'm sorry, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not perfect, and that's a thing I kind of struggle with. Uh, I know, it sounds kind of weird, I know, no one's perfect, and that's the thing. As, as a Christian, I've always had this mindset that I've got to be perfect. I've got to be the best I can. Um, and that's a good strive to have, but the thing is, is that whenever I mess up, if I ever, you know, lash out on someone by accident or say something I, you know, didn't intend to be taken that way, or I did, but then I say I didn't because I don't want to sound bad or sound mean like a bully, uh, it bothers me the rest of the day. And I let it kind of affect my entire day. And, uh, the thing is that no one can be perfect. Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Meaning, no one's perfect, we all goof, and we all fall short of God's perfection, God's glory. You know, this is God, because he's perfect. And we're going to be like way down here, because we're not perfect. We can't achieve perfection because it's human nature. We're all going to say things we're going to regret. We're all going to do things, act certain ways. That we're eventually gonna realize you know we shouldn't have done that we're gonna regret it uh, the thing is is though maybe I'm not the only person in this boat but I struggle with even just thinking that like, I know the verse says that I know everybody's a sinner but the thing is whenever like I said I mess up it bothers me and people notice that I've been told Cameron you focus so much on the bad you don't realize that you know God's God can forgive you no matter what you've done God can forgive you and I had a friend one time that said he's not going to become a Christian because he's got too much stuff in his life he's got to fix before he can become a Christian and that kind of bothers me and it still kind of does because the thing is, is that there's nowhere in the Bible where it is ever say clean yourself up get your act together and then become a Christian it doesn't say that in fact Jesus says the exact opposite he says cast your burdens on me meaning give me what you have and I'll fix it God just God just wants you. He just wants you. He wants you to take your burden, your 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 stuff you've got to fix. He wants it. He's going to fix it because that's what he wants to do for you. He wants to love you and protect you and you know, realize like, you know, as a loving father should, you know, if you see if any parent or any like or me, like if I see one of my best friends doing something, I'm like, dude, you're gonna regret that later. Like I can like legit kill your lungs. <laughs> uh, cause I've had friends before who have done some things that they regret now. Uh, and they thankfully have stopped doing it. But the point is that you know, whenever you see someone that you're close to doing something that you think is going to ruin them, or at least not be good for them, whether it's drugs, smoking, or uh, self harm, uh any stuff like that. I mean, those are just kind of the extreme cases, but you get what I'm saying. You want them to stop because you love them, and that's exactly the way God feels about you. He wants to take your burdens, just trust him, ask for forgiveness, and he'll fix it and help you because he loves you. That's the thing, you know? We've got to realize as Christians, yeah, we're a Christian, but we know we're not perfect. No one's perfect, we all sin. We all fall short of the glory of God. That's why we need Jesus. You know, died for us, and we repent of our sins and ask, accept Him in our hearts. He covers that. He takes those sins away. He washes it white as snow. Makes it brand spanking new. Jesus loves you, and I love you. This is going to wrap up today's scripture shun, scripture Sunday, scripture Sunday. You have a blessed week. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and share it if you really liked it. I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!